Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do the um, football strategy, man. The football strategy, okay? Where we're just gonna be looking and counting the scores, man. Scores is what we wanna count. <laughs> we wanna count the scores. What is the score, man? You know. See, when you know how to watch football, you will know how to. Okay, we're gonna use the support resistance 200. No, it's 200 because we want to be able to maximize a tangible profit with this strategy. Okay, we're using 200. You might use 500, could be the limit and the last, but you know, for just let's say for the sake of one week trading. We use 200 okay and we're gonna use the football football style okay <laughs> so based on this thing you see on my screen this is the 200 support resistance well you might leave it this way for the sake of the big trend or you might you may just zoom it zoom it out zoom it properly so you can see it <laughs> what i'm gonna tell you Honestly, this works on every every kind of strategy and every time frame. This works works like works like hell. Hoo -hoo. Now see what I'm saying here, boy. Uh, I know you got an eye to see something. Except, except, except you want to close your eyes and pretend as if you don't see this. <laughs> oh, what a touch! Look at. Touch one, touch two. Okay. This leg should go and give me a touch one in the up side. Okay. This is the touch. All right. There's no problem, man. What is inside my brain now? <laughs> Based on the football strategy, the football strategy between the support resistance, they playing the football okay now the resistance will now pick it up and go and give me a one touch on the support it's going man it's going man this is the leg going there it's going there it's coming here you know it's coming it's coming it's coming like um let me show you something there's a way to read this type of things you know you you got you got one way to read this thing I don't even get my shit anymore. But anyway, I want to show you. It's coming here on this pole right here. Mm, all this thing you see, they have meaning. It's coming here. Or it's coming here. They have meaning. Okay. Now, this is why a lot of time I talk about patience. You see, if you get something that is telling you to sell, like a pin bar, a pin bar, a perfect one, not those pin bar that just do things like every 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 pin they see they say it's a pin bar. I don't do those nonsense tools and indicator stuff. If I'm gonna do something, I want something that's gonna give me a pin bar from the top. This place, this place, this place, then you use these things, this pin bar to follow this thing down. Okay, but you know what I want to tell you. You don't just go and grab a tool or a, a kind of indicator and start to use without the knowledge of what is even going on in the market itself. The first thing that came to my head is the knowledge, the football strategy between support resistance. I've seen a one touch here, man. Then what? It's going to go give me the next touch down. This is why I bring all my tools, all my tools, my supporters. Those are supporters that can tell me, hey, boy, keep going down, keep going down, man. You know what? You see? That shows you I'm not even trading blindly, though. You know what I mean. <laughs> you could get any indicator, every indicator. All those indicators are saying the same thing, except you don't understand but first of all you need the knowledge where is that leg going hmm. support resistance leg touch one please go 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 and give me go and give me the next touch down man it's coming it's coming here okay it's coming here and this will rise up and bring the next support here but this leg now must get here
Okay, welcome back, guys. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry for that break in transmission. Yeah, so what do you need to be seeing? What do you need to be looking at? Hey, how do you draw your trend line? your trend line and analyze the market but first of all look at this naked chart you got a full idea that the market is going up right i'm gonna put a trend line <clears throat> okay i'm gonna put a trend line okay but this is gonna be a very simple way of drawing a trend line have you seen it all right what does this implies implies that if we're gonna take this buy then we wait for the price to come and bounce somewhere on this trend line before we take a buy hmm. this is trend line analysis okay now that is the first step that is the easiest way of drawing a trend line the second step is let us go and take a look at <clears throat> the support resistance which i always talk about if you didn't get it the link is going to be under this video it's very important we say okay let's try that support resistance 500 first of all we put it on the chart okay this is what we got <laughs> from the base of the trend line you see to the high that is your 500 now what do we want to do let's draw another trend line um line let's draw another trend line on this support and then another line on the resistance itself okay now we got the high and the low of the chart the high and the low because this is going up okay and now what we're going to do now is that we're going to go again to say okay i want to go and remove that um support resistance line i want to delete it okay i delete it but it's not yet deleted but i want to insert another trend another support resistance of let's say <clears throat> in this case 100 we have it okay the 100 is showing us something from this high to this low okay but let's go again and make it like um let's go edit it and make it like 200 support resistance let's say it is 200 okay this is 200 we have 500 we have our trend line we have 200 okay we have 500 support resistance which is this and we have 200 what does this mean this means that we got a touch on the 200 low then we got a touch on the 200 high then we are expecting a touch on the 200 low to create a new 200 low which means i'm gonna go again to put a line on the 200 low to say what let me make this line a red line to say that okay let me make it a yellow line to say that yep if the price get there let me say i want to target a buy i want to target a buy it's a buy zone you know 
a target, a bisome. So definitely what? Because I know the trend is going up. With the 500 support resistance line I put here, with my trend line going up, then with the support resistance 200 itself, which shows when the price come to bounce on this 200 yellow line, that is when I look to buy. This is it. In this video, I will log into the members area and show you exactly how it works. Put in your email, password, here we go. The charts are loading. OK, we see the first three charts of the best trending currency pairs and time frames. The trend direction, pair and time frame, and the trend drawdown. The drawdown is very low. The trend looks very nice. This blue line is the maximum drawdown. This is how the best trend is determined. No indicators, but pure price action. You can read more about this method in the ebook you'll get right after you subscribe. In the next charts, the drawdown is a little higher. If you want to see more charts, click on settings. Let's choose 20 charts. Save settings for the next time you log in. Go back into trends, and as we scroll down, the drawdown becomes higher. But it might still be good for trend following. The first chart is always the best one. If you click on more in this corner, you'll see a quick overview of the same pair on the other time frames. In this case, most of the arrows are showing upward movement, which is a good confirmation. So let's go back into settings. And here you can select only particular currency pairs or deselect pairs you do not want to trade or that are not in your trading platform. You can also deselect time frames, for example, the lowest time frames. You can set up alerts when the trend drawdown falls below, let's say, 15%. Then click Save. And the Audible Alert will let you know when the lowest drawdown on any chart falls below 15%. Another approach used by more conservative traders is to check the charts just once or twice a day and simply make a trading decision. Very easy. Now let's look into patterns. And what you see are, believe it or not, the automatically recognized patterns. Here's the pair and the time frame and the pattern name. Flag, triangle, falling wedge, so on. Notice that there are often more than two touching pairs on the trend line. This is because the recognition algorithm is very good. When the price breaks through the trend line, it's likely to continue in the same direction. So you can enter the orders just above or below the trend line depending on the overall trend. These are emerging patterns and here's something special. The history of completed patterns updated in real time. They are actually confirmed patterns because the price has already broken through the trend line. The problem with emerging patterns is that they can change several times or the price will not break through the trend line. Unlike emerging patterns, completed patterns can be accepted as trading signals. For example, let's click on the link. And here we see the flag pattern. The price has broken through the trend line and it's likely to continue moving this way, often with some pullback. You can set up alerts in the settings. Check the box near Alert when new completed pattern appears and click Save. And when the new pattern is confirmed with a breakout, you will be notified by the audible alert. Another approach is to check the charts just once or twice a day. Look in the history of the higher time frames and you see that trend lines work incredibly well.
yeah so now that you know how to read where the market is going hmm? because you know already where the market is going okay this leg you've seen it is giving you all this top top pimba top pimba when you even looking at all this top top pimba separating from the from the support itself then you will know that yep it's going down because the pimba are separating from the support itself okay but that is not what i'm doing now what i'm doing now is i've seen a touch one i know he's gonna go give me a touch number two somewhere here now this is why i'm following it down and i said okay while i'm following it down you know i'm not saying you should do things that looks like this i'm just using this to signify that okay i'm going down this leg is going down okay that's what i'm signifying okay now what am i gonna do to follow it because i know you know the game is the game is when you know because if you don't know then you will do blind things i i, I talk about the pin bar then i'm gonna go bring the pin bar shit yo then we're gonna use the pin bar to stock it so all we just need to do is when we stock it with the pin bar we just sleep on our bed and keep looking when we hear the sound of the pin bar we jump up yeah man you use a stop loss pin bar you use stop loss peeps yep we're gonna oh okay we're gonna use the stop loss peep man come on you stop loss and peeps true man um stop loss of the peep okay because this is just for following the market on a day-to-day -day basis i want to say okay because i'm going to be picking this trade from the pimba the stop loss i'm going to use is going to be the like let me say 50 pips man 50 pips all right yeah that's okay if i use a good good lot size okay man then let's go and look for the take profit okay then the take profit and pips we're going to use the take profit and pips give me the truth true and then take profit one let me say something like my take profit one in pips is gonna be let's say 25 pips okay let me use the take profit two as my 50 pips meaning i'm doing the highest of one to one risk reward okay i, I don't see nothing bad in it because i'm following this uh, pin by every every time it sounds now that's all we need to do if there's any alert that's supposed to be on we go turn the alert on you know where is the alert yeah okay sound a lot then give me that true to sound it nice and then pop up the alert good then give me something like send me email yeah this is my best send that email to my phone so even if i'm sleeping i'm gonna jump up like a frog send push a lot or what is this yes yeah when it comes to my phone i'm gonna jump up like a frog put my entry in and that's all i need to do because i know all you need to do is know when you know something when you know something you can never be deceived <laughs> you got what i'm saying look at this look at this pimba look at this pimba look at this pimba one two all this separating from here they are pimba separating oh my god this is this was this was going up because of separating pimba from the support from the support okay look at this pimba look at this pimba the touch look at this pimba separating pimba from the resistance <laughs> oh man i don't even like to talk anymore man i mean this is too simple too simple for even a child of one year old to know this is the pimba stochastic that i put on the chart uh, we're going down and I'm going to wait for the next pin bar when I get it. When I get it, I put my entry in. I get out for the day. I wait for the next day. That's all I need to do. I hope you got this lesson so cool, so fun, so interesting. If you get anything to know, you, you, you can DM me. I'm going to come and answer you. But you know I've been telling you guys to go get that forex trendy and I'll get you some kind of support resistance line link under this video. You know. 
yeah so now that you guys know the time i got to record one video is five minutes so because the time was against me i need to come and make continuation of that video so after we learn how to draw our support resistance and we know how to you know find our entry line which is this and we have our trend line in place to know the trend you know we got the support resistance the low and the high we got the 200 support resistance you know the high and the low okay then and then we know that okay we're waiting we've seen the price have made a touch two touch on the low here it's gone up it makes like two touch on the high here then we are expecting a new low to be created then we have our own yellow line right we are expecting the price to come around our yellow line okay that's what we're expecting now how do we now enter it there are different ways to enter it okay you can get a lot system to put a lot on this type of trend line that is one which will alert you when the price ever get there that is one number two is when you get some kind of arrow that looks like this that can inform you that oh, this is my own arrow that can inform you that okay it's time to get in i said okay 15 crossing because we have the 200 support resistance as our zone where we want to enter this trade let me say 200 i want to try that first okay and we're gonna allow every every alert and everything we're gonna turn it on okay every alert we're gonna turn it on okay because this will be alerting us on our phone also our phone if it's ever connected to the mp4 even the email alert must be on so anywhere we are it will send that alert to our phone and we will know that is the time to do what we want to do now push it on now see now take a look at something we do avoid this because the price didn't get to the low okay until we see a new low before we follow this by arrow when we see a new low okay then we wait for the next buy arrow you gotta see a new low is either price came down to this yellow line or this support resistance 200 move up to show you a new low has been detected then you can then wait for the next buy arrow you use it to buy and ride along the trend see when you get from the low from the low of the big 500 support resistance and you wait for your buy arrow see the big huge profit you made riding it to the top okay it's same thing that is going to happen here because where you see the price oscillating around a trend line oscillating it's oscillation that happens around here too that is why the oscillation was broken and a rally up came this oscillation will be broken okay we will have a massive push to the upside and we will have this type of scenario with this arrow which will get in and we will have this bullish move up you got your entry arrow which I've put the link under this video. If that is what you need, get it. And there's another one that is going to do you a good entry, which is called the, the FX Shark. It's Shark. I put the name under the video. Shark. Get it. You can use any of them. You can use this arrow or you can use the Shark itself. You know, they do the same job. You know, they do the same job all they do is giving you entry and exit okay so they do the same job so this is everything you need to know about how to draw your trend lines in, along support resistance with the arrow entry and exit arrow you know so and you need to get the forex trendy because with the forex trendy you can see the chart itself the trend it's going 
Yeah, so you see, now we're going to talk about the um, support resistance, you know, these type of topics, you know, I've been putting my eye on it seriously because I know hmm, maybe you are a beginner or you are an expert or pro trader, you know, <laughs> the support resistance, we cannot do without it day by day because it is the boundary of which you trade. And, and I've made a video all and all over and over again about support resistance, which I said, okay, support resistance 500. And I use the arrow, you know, I use the arrow to, to, you know, try to, you know, help you to follow it. You understand? I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. And then um, in this case, you know, oh, you guys need to be following my previous video. To see the support resistance 500 for long term following with the arrow uh, that arrow uh, you will see the links under the video too you know and now i'm gonna do a favor of following that support resistance you know day by day if you are a day trader then i'm gonna advise 50. if you are a long time trader i'm gonna advise 500. 500 helps to compound to follow the trend you know, but 50 is sharp, sharp. But I will tell you now how to use it. This is 50. Okay. <clears throat> now, there's one thing I want you to look at. One thing about support resistance is, a, is that when the price has touched any part of it, it has to bounce back. That is where the price retraces. Now, if you wake up on a daily basis and you, you, you look at price, what has it done? based on the support resistance then you wanna on the, at a glance you don't want to guess look this is touch from the up one then it bounced back okay it bounced back touch one one okay now from this zone now from this moment we'll be thinking to avoid any selling on this leg because we should be thinking of a pullback to the up to create a new resistance, which is going to be touch number two to the resistance. Okay. All right. If we say, okay, let us avoid this type of thing right now because um, we, we've seen touch the pullback zone. What are we going to be doing? When are we going to be expecting the change? Now, this is where you need to stay away and you need to go and find all your tool indicators that is showing you either to buy or to sell because here now this is going to be pulling up and at that point you will need to stay alert and get your arrow to tell you to buy now you will see what i'm going to do i'm going to insert one arrow now and tell you the reason why why we're going to be sitting back and avoid something that you know income arrow here and this is 15 you know, I used to use 10, but here for the day, I use 15, crossing the 50. Yeah, the baseline is 50. Yo. And then every alert must be on. Every alert must be on. Okay. And we're going to do this. Okay. This is it. And uh, let me see what we got here. Indicator list, support resistance. Um, let me even change this support resistance to 100. Sorry. 100 is going to be the best. 50 should be an average. Okay. So now this is a touch one. Okay. A touch one. And it has done a touch one on the resistance. Okay. Now we'll be expecting it to come and create a touch two on the support. Okay. A touch two on the support. So this leg that is coming down is still expected to go down and create a touch two here on the support so which means this is touch one one okay okay then from here we are expecting touch two here which means this is going down and it will touch here okay then you wait for your sell arrow to sell when it comes out and you get your profit here and get out that is two two I'm out of time. I'm out of time. We will explain more better in the next video. Okay. I'm out of great time.
Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, sorry, sorry for that break in transmission. Yeah, so what do you need to be seeing? What do you need to be looking at? Yeah, welcome back, welcome back. As you know that, you know, the only time I got to record my video is five minutes. <laughs> so crazy, man. <laughs> five minutes. Oh, my God. So, as I was saying in the previous video, you know, which I will, I will join, I will join this with that one. I will join them together. So, you will be able to watch them as only one, not separate, you know. So, if you are still a beginner in Forex, okay because following this um naked chat could be for professional but what i'm saying is the most important thing is to identify the trend and you as a beginner you cannot do this by just looking at this your chat that is why you need a forex trendy to guide you and if you're talking about the forex trendy and you're feeling like you need it you check the link under this video the forex trend the link is right there for you which i know that is the only thing that can teach you about the forex trend how the price moves where is it going without you thinking twice or you just did it's a good strategy now look if you don't like to do the one i said before like you know following the naked chart breaking the breaking the breaking the range you know then you might like to do things that looks like you know you, you may be the one who's gonna like to do things that look like um let me bring you something 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 maybe maybe you like something that looks like this you know with something that looks like this one we're gonna now put our arrow if you need this arrow the link is under this video too this one now lets you to be able to follow follow up the trend okay um everything is having the a lot and other things is okay possible a lot on current yep so you may like to follow this trend by applying this hey my god look at you may follow this trend by applying this arrow of 10 crossing the 50 and you begin to follow this in the uptrend follow this in the uptrend follow this in the uptrend look just calculate your good lot size that's it and then you can follow any of this 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 you can follow any of them if you know how to split your own lot size okay the first video i made happens to be the, the the overall idea of the of the trend itself okay but now this second one is how to follow it if you are the one following that trend day by day by day okay if you are the one following it day by day but you will not follow blindly though because the trend has a behavior this is why we're gonna put something that looks like um um you know because the trend has a behavior you know everything we put on our chart has a meaning you know so because the trend has a behavior then i'm gonna put something um wait for me wait for me please i'm gonna put something the trend has a behavior when it gets somewhere it's gonna do a little bit of turnaround this is why we put support resistance 500 to know the boundary which we are trading we are trading in a boundary of the 500 support resistance when price has been hitting it then it's coming back down a little bit okay you know it hit it here came back down hit it here came back down so as it's hitting it is going up which means it's trending the, the the big time frame they are trending i'm on the one hour time frame you know but then the last bottom it ever created 
the last bottom it ever created inside that zone is this which means it will it, it may be bouncing on this and going up to break this level until it breaks it and give us another long leg which you continue to use this arrow to follow it if you need this arrow it is under this video you get it if you get what gives you a guidance on how to succeed in your forex and the tool is under the video why yeah so as you say every day that what you do is you are a scalper you know that you want to scalp yeah <laughs> i found something good for you yeah this tool you know me i've really used it i've used it before you know it's good it's good for scalping you know and if you are also the one following the trend on a long trend that you just need entry along a long trend you know yeah this thing is also very good you understand i'm on the page of this called the forex shark it's only used for entry okay and exit as you can see what it is okay all the red dots for selling 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 okay buying buying and it does it yeah it does it i have it i've used it i'm still using it but because of the knowledge and the experience you know yeah i don't i don't have too much tools with me these days but this is you know good with the alert it makes you know and the fact that it will give you the signal at the main point of entry itself it's like a pin bar you know so if you know you are a scalper or you know that you don't have access to get any tool that can show you when to get in and get out of any pair you are in i think you need to come to this page okay i will put the link under this video it's called the forex shark okay you will see the link we are saying go and get the forex shark this is it it's good for entry it will even show you what you are supposed to be doing by showing you if you're supposed to be thinking of going down or maybe on the up direction you understand especially if you are the type that watch one of my video where i said trading forex with moving average hmm. trading forex with moving average where i put a kind of cci in it if you are the type following that cci then you will know what type of entry point you're supposed to be taking when you're taking this type of shark you have to you should come to the page and see it by yourself okay but then the bonuses you're going to be given when you get the product these are the bonuses this ebook pdf forex anybody i know you forex guys <laughs> boys and girls you like uh, all this free pdf stuff so here you are you got all of them okay all right so for this product just check under the link below check under the link below the name is forex shark okay it's good for scalping and it is good for entry along a long trend all right so take care it's just a short video thank you so like you all know one more time this is your boy forex strategy factory <laughs> aka the forex wizard six triple six you know what i mean yeah we are the one behind the forex bombarding the forex market killing it seriously you know <laughs> yeah what i'm talking about the, the the reason for this video of today you know is is to encourage or to you know inspire a lot of young young guys out there man i've seen you i've seen your struggles man <laughs> i saw a lot of you on facebook social media uh, instagram many of you are even my followers many of you are everywhere in my email list many of you are talking to me directly or indirectly man hmm. but i've seen your problem but i know i know the cause of your problem you know because i used to be there i used to be in that shoe i used to be in that situation where i felt like 
oh my god when am i gonna start making it in forex or when is my one plus one is gonna be two you know not like i gotta pull my ass somehow and guess come on guess something guess guess and win today lose tomorrow yeah yeah win today lose tomorrow is good at at least <laughs> there is win in the equation you know it's only we want to remove the loose and keep the win you know we want to find out what is the reason for that loss and why why did i even win at the first place <laughs> this is what you want to you want to put at the back of your mind you know if you don't know how to keep this at the back of your mindset then maybe you are not taking notice of what exactly you are doing to say okay okay but i won i won yesterday yep but then why did i lose today so the reason for that loss you want to take it away and throw it into the garbage <laughs> and you will continue to win man come the real thing I see about this forex thing that I see most of you not doing is a lot of people are just forex savvy. You just want to trade and trade and you want to put signal in, you want to put entry in. You don't just want to sit down and even look a little bit and feel like, okay, is it the time for me to wait? Yeah, <laughs> you know, in everything, there's a time to wait. I want to ask you a question. Are you waiting? while you are waiting what is at the back of your head are you saying that okay let me let me stay at the chart a little bit and put in and put it one small tiny lot yeah even one small tiny lot you put in at the wrong wrong zone can blow your account away man you know what i mean <laughs> if you've been trading for long you know what i mean though you know <laughs> you know i've been waiting bro i've been waiting seriously waiting oh drastically momentarily uh if there's something to say epidemically i've been waiting you know what i mean epidemically <laughs> those days that i used to wait wait for a perfect entry i used to get some temptation along the line you say okay man hey hey corn 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 for a strategy for a strategy man you see there is a good entry in there you're gonna win get that fucking entry in man but you know what <laughs> If I got tempted and I do that, I do lose some shit. But at the end, oh, the price will go to where I've planned it. You know the reason? There's a price you gotta pay for not waiting. You gotta pay a price. Because the, the price itself, the market or the price for its chart itself will get to a zone and turn back. Like I always told you in my ex video, long time video, I said, look, bro, <laughs> look. The price will get to a point and turn around. Why not wait? Now we wait. We wait. For example, this is this is something of um. This is just a video of um the NZ the USD because I wait. Now, if I'm gonna place my buy now, you know, I can put a buy right here at zero point seven one nine oh two. I can pen my buy right here right now okay let me see if the time is still available for me if i pay my buy right here yeah so what do you need to be seeing what do you need to be looking at <laughs> you see take the forex trendy put it on pick a pair and look at it and put it on your chart naked chart like this and then see that is what you need to be seen. The relationship between your chart and the Forex Trendy is that your naked chart is even the Forex Trendy itself. You know what I mean? Take a look at it. Before we ever get started painting our chart, pink, blue, putting indicators, putting this and that on it, that we can no longer see this anymore. That is why we lose, because we cannot see the real thing we got to be seen. Hmm. Okay. If anyone now told me, okay, this price is going up. Yes, it is. Because you see the right thing. Then you got 50% of winning rate. 
until you put your entry in and you put the right entry in. Then you got 100% winning rate. When you see this and your brain is telling you this is going up and you look at the Forex trendy and you see it, it's going up. Then this is what you need to be seeing. And this is the reason why you need to wait and find a good entry along the pullback. This is one big strategy that I'm teaching you guys about. One of my video where I said million dollar profit structure. Yeah, this structure, man, million dollar profit structure. Okay. We've seen the way it looks on the naked chart. This is the USDJPY. I'm not doing analysis. I'm just talking. Let us go to our own template and apply one kind of template where we have put a lot of color on our screen. I don't know. Which is my template? Which is my template? Let me see. It. Yeah. You, do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? The naked chart has shown us overall direction of this UJ despair but when i put my color chart see what i got confusion this is confusing it's crazy i don't even know where the market is going but because of the naked chart the naked chart let's put it on because of this naked chart let me know <laughs> this is going up go look at forex trendy you will know exactly what to do okay so if i go back because i got the idea it's going up and i go back to my chart and i put this on so i know it's going up what do i do bring out my trend line put it on oh you can even tag this video as how to trade trend line but i said this is 50 million dollar profit structure trading this will give you money when you know how to do this type of things you gotta know the next thing you're gonna do is to wait for a pullback just a pullback look it doesn't matter if you wait for pullback and it hit the trend line and you pick it up maybe it went a little bit against you to a particular zone maybe here or here it doesn't matter as long as you put your own entry in to the where the trend is going and you got something that shows you something that shows you your take profit and your stop loss then you are good to go okay welcome back guys uh sorry sorry for that break in transmission you know it's because um <laughs> the camera i use in recording my videos you know they always giving me like five minutes limitation so <laughs> once i cannot be done with the first video i gotta come back again to do continuation so like i was saying in that previous video i said okay 
because I've been waiting for so long. And if I have to pull my, pull my entry right here, right now, because of this pullback that I've seen, because I've been waiting. And I said, okay, pull my entry pending order on the 0 0.71890, which is the pullback in the pullback itself. I don't want to use any difficult terminologies. This is a long pullback. This is a move. This is a pullback. Pullback inside the pullback. Pullback within a pullback. I think this is a double, you could call it a double leg divergence, man. It's a double leg divergence. Where you don't even know what a pullback is. But at least you will be able to see a double leg divergence. Okay. So I put my pending order entry on that buy stop 0 0.71 890 hey when you're watching this video later in the future somehow please <laughs> don't take this as the current signal this is just a video that i made you might be watching it in the future it's a replay you got me don't make a mistake but when you're watching this channel you better subscribe and follow me because <laughs> This thing you see here is what we'll be doing right now before you see how we go live and killing the YouTube marketplace. Subscribe to this channel. Okay. So if I say, yeah, this is the pullback. Where the pullback ever got started? Right here. Okay. But I know the market is going to come back and break this zone like shit. So I pull my thick profit right in here, man, bro. <laughs> Let's say 0 0.72340, man, NZD, USD. Hmm. See the way I'm analyzing the market for you. <laughs> you see the way I'm analyzing the market for you. Mm. Because when you stay too long in the Forex market, man, you become a friend to Forex itself. And the Forex becomes your friend and that becomes part of you. And all you're going to display in your life is Forex. You got the skill. You got the skill to print your money. You got the skill, the skill to shake the world, man. When you know how to do Forex, you're going to shake the world. You're going to blow the world. You got your own economy. You don't scare no one. Nobody control you. You're not under everybody's control. You can control the mountain and move the sky and break, break all unshakable space. You shake them. You shake them and bring them down. You don't fucking care no one. When you know what Forex is. And you can look. And tell the market this is what you're going to do. And the market is going to do exactly what you've said. Look. This is my stop loss. Let me just put it here in a figure you understand. You put it in the in this tale. But I put it where on the round figure where you can see it properly and understand what I'm doing. 0 0.71, 350. That is my stop loss. This is, this is the graph of your trade in NZD USD. But you see, I would not like you take this for something like maybe I've done analysis. I don't want a video you come and watch only one time and you are gone. You know, I want a video you come and watch and watch and watch and watch and watch over and over again. So, Sometimes you're going to see this video inside some of my video because they are always cut and mixed together. So when you see it at that point, please don't take it like it is the current signal. You know, just say today is, today is, um, let me say, March 14th, you know, 2021. Okay, at least <laughs> I've set the date for you. So when you're watching this type of thing in the future, don't mistake it as that signal. Okay. Thank you so much, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot. Yeah, what's up? One more time, friends. You know what I'm talking about now. We're talking about the trend. You know, this is the only place we come and talk about the trend. You know, there's nothing I talk about, but I'll talk about only the trend. You know, <clears throat> now let's go. I said, what should you be looking at? You know. This is what I said in one of my video. I think it's my, it's my, it's my uh, recent video. I said, this is what you're supposed to be looking at. Okay. But 
it only depends on how you are looking at it you know what i'm talking about this is what you should be looking at but it only depends on how you are looking at it you understand now let me show you something you know i said when you when you take a time to look at the naked chart or you look at the forex trendy you know um then you get a big idea of where is the price going you know where it's going now if you looking at this you know if you looking at this inside the support resistance of 500 period you know i know i like this support resistance 500 men you know and you put a trend line like this and you see that it's going up all right but then what is going to happen in this type of case is that we put a zone that yep we are trading inside this small zone right now and the only characteristics of uptrend is to break the upper what is this the upper range okay it's going to break the upper range you know that is the qualities and characteristics of uptrend you know so how do you follow this type of things my boy my boy how do you follow this you know what look at if you follow in this naked chart and you want to have a peace of mind or rest of mind that <clears throat> okay you don't want to be chasing you know where the market is going and you know the characteristics of that trend uptrend is going to be breaking the upper range where is the range this is a range a range oh a correction back to the trend a range this is a range this previously used to be the high highest high before there was a breakout of it and that gave us this longest leg that is the characteristics of uptrend and exactly what happened here breaking this range is exactly what is going to happen right here it's going to break this range and this long leg will continue so i said when you now take a look at the forex trending itself then you know you get the idea of where is the trend going you get the idea then you come to your chart and you choose to do this that i've done a 500 period support resistance a naked chart and then just following following by breaking zone zone this is another zone zone you know so so if you choose
So the other day when I told you guys about um, the, you know, setting up your chart and the Forex Trendy issue, you know, one thing about your chart is that it is the only thing that will determine if you're going to be successful in Forex or not, you know. So now I'm going to set up a chart right now. So you can see in the post that I made for you guys, I want you to now see the chart the way I'm going to display it. And I put about the support resistance tool, support resistance. There's a reason why it is there. I'm going to add the support resistance. I told you in the post, I put 500 level support resistance. This is the point where the price always turn around and the support resistance you're looking at a lot because you see the price turn around the price bounce on it and it's turning around and this going up you know good now if you are a day trader you can follow it to wherever it's going and if not you can take your entry here if you're a scalper you can get out from here okay but that is not what we're doing here today now look let us go get that arrow the arrow that i put that i call the income arrow go to custom the income arrow that i put and this arrow also has a lot you know i always set mine to be like 10 it's crossing 50 because it will give me the best uh signal and then all the other settings i leave them alone and i do things like uh, show ma lines no a lot is on yes make sure your alert is on because if not you cannot get signal a lot on current i pull the false false a lot message yes a lot sound yes a lot message is the one that will send the alert to your phone your phone and you can use your phone to enter the trade okay a lot email well, this one too, if I like, I turn it on. But now let's go and see exactly how it looks like. This is it. These are the arrows. Okay. As a trader, when you know that, the logic here is that the price has bounced on this support and now it's bouncing up. So you know it's going up. That is the thing at the mind, at your at the back of your mind right now. It is going up. It has bounced here on the support, okay, on the floor. Now it's going up, okay? Now, this is the reason why I help you to set the chart so that you can see it, okay? Because when you have a chart that is showing you what exactly is going on in the market, then you will have confidence to, to be sure of monthly income from your trading. Look, what are you supposed to be doing, if not, to follow the arrow? The buy arrow, the buy arrow only, you follow the buy arrow, okay? If you are the one that always draw a trend line, when you draw a trend line, and you know that your trade ends until the day this trend line is broken. Now, look at the chart. Hmm? Tell me that there's something good you found on this chart. While the price bounced on this zone, the roof, which is the resistance, is started coming down where you follow this yellow arrow for down, 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 down. If you draw a trend line following this arrow, you will see that, okay, until the day my trend line broken, that is when I come to buy. See, are you not buying? You are buying, okay? Now, this trend line drawing is uh, a strategy for another day, you know. It's not, I'm not teaching you how to trade Forex, but I'm teaching you how to set up your chart and the reason why you need to have a, a very clean chart. Now, this is the support resistance line that I told you. It is the two blue lines and these are the arrow. Okay. If you look at the price, they are so cheap. I believe everybody can afford it. I, I probably made it cheap because of you guys, because I know that yeah, most of you cannot afford much expensive things. This is why I'm showing you this. So I don't think you should hesitate not to even get it in order to be profitable. Hmm? If you get something that solves your problem and is going to make you to be profitable, why not? Why not? Why not invest in it? Why not get it?
yeah so we made a video the other day and now we started again with another video right here to continue what we just talked about a few days ago about this support resistance which we have the blue line like i told you guys and then we have our arrow if you don't forget yeah we do this is it the arrow we follow and we don't just follow things blindly you know what i mean we look at where the market has bounced away from the support it bounced up started going now yesterday while i was doing this video we took a buy following this arrow right here but the market went up and pulled back now a lot of you new beginner trader will be scared of pullback you know you're gonna be scared of pullback and that has been the problem in the forex which makes a lot of you losing because when you see a pullback you don't want to care if you're in the right direction i've seen a lot of people they will close that order man they feel is gone against them the reason is because you don't know where the market is going by yourself you know look a simple analysis the market has bounced away from support it shows you it's going up this is why we drew a trend line apart from the support resistance which is the boundary where we are trading okay now we know it's going up this is why we follow it up yesterday now because i got the information is going up if i'm gonna take my profit now as a scalper you know what i can take my profit somewhere right here if i say i want to take my profit i can take my profit profit number one right here okay i can do that if i'm gonna think of the long term maybe you know to hold it for at least a week yeah maybe a week or a week and a half yeah i can come here and take my profit number two right here why because I know this price is going around here. Around here is going to create the next resistance. But I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is I know where it's going. I know where it's going. And I'm going to get out here. I'm going to get out here for longer time. Now, if i'm going to talk about the pullback which is the level that the price will always create to give you another good entry so that zone is what me i'm going to use to pull my stop loss levels pullback stop loss see you know why i can do this thing i'm showing you because i know what the market used to do well, you know what the market used to do, you will not be scared of pullback, but you will take advantage of the pullback. Now, if this is the level it has created as the last pullback, okay, if I'm going to take this trade today, then my stop loss is going to be exactly, um, exactly below the pullback itself. Boom. Oh. What type of risk reward ratio is this? If I have a stop loss here, my entry here, which I put this on yesterday, and which my, my take profit is here or here. When you calculate it, it looks like a risk reward ratio of two to one, which is very profitable. So what am I saying? If you know how to follow one strategy and you know one strategy, and there's a pattern which you need to see in the market and you follow it with a risk reward ratio of two to one mm? and you follow that every day man your success is guaranteed this is why we got the support resistance level and this video is called how to follow support resistance using the income arrow okay I will put all the link of what you need under this video like the support resistance and the this income arrow i will put the link under the video you need to check it out because these are the things that will guide you you know there's no
I hope you enjoyed the presentation. If you are impressed by that small piece of information, see the link below. And thank you for your time. Okay, welcome back, guys. Uh, sorry, sorry for that break in transmission. Yeah, so what do you need to be seeing? What do you need to be looking at? Yeah, welcome back, welcome back, guys. Uh, based on this video, you know, based on this video, as you know, what I always do, always teaching you something about Phonix, always teaching you something that's going to help you to open your eyes, you know, to see what exactly the market is doing, even if you are on a naked chart like this, you know. So I wouldn't want you guys to see this video that I'm making now, like I'm giving you market analysis, you know, I don't like those type of videos too, you know, I like to make videos that people will always like to come back and watch over and over again. But, you know, while making those type of videos, you know, some might be like analysis. Mm -hmm. Now, this being on the AUD, USD, AU, H1 time frame, you know, We've been watching this thing for like going to go up, okay? And I'm going to present this like I'm helping you to set up a chart on, so you can understand how to look at a chart. Okay, this is what we believe then is going to go up then. You know what I mean? Forget about what it has done. It has gone up from here, got here, and then broke down to give us what? To give us a little pullback okay so after this major pullback what am i thinking with these double legs what am i thinking now okay the only thing in my head now is you know um i'm gonna i'm gonna wait a little bit i'm gonna wait a little bit to see what is going on around this red line that i've drawn that's what i'm doing right now but to confirm this properly, let us go and put our support resistance line of um, uh, 500 period the way we used to do it, you know. Uh, yeah, with all the alerts on, man. All right. Yeah, you see, because I wanted to ask you a question before, like, why do you think it bounced back here? Now, look at the support resistance I used to say, because it has hitting that resistance, that is why it bounced back. But if you put, if you look at it the way it's going, it's going up, okay? It's going, it's blowing up, blowing up. There's no doubt about it. But then what? It has gone on a straight leg to give you the uh, support resistance. It gave you the pullback of maybe 50 to 60% pullback. What? do you want to do wait for the buy entry okay now if i buy this now because my brain is a buy look at this line it is even already a take profit one this line is already a take profit one and this final line is already the final take profit this final up okay now this is not what we want to do let's zoom it a little bit Okay, now let us go and put our income arrow to make it spicy, you know. 
where is it hmm. income arrow you see the way i'm putting things fast fast sharp sharp that shows you I've been, I'm, I'm doing exactly what i'm saying and i want this income arrow to have a lot and have everything but because of time i'm gonna rush this video now look at your income arrow while this was going up i said okay you should be following 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 these lines following this arrow following this arrow because it's going up now it hit the resistance if you are a professional trader you will know that while hitting this resistance it's definitely going to go back then you will be following the yellow arrow okay yellow arrow okay but that is not what i'm saying right now i'm saying that these have gone from the low support to the high ceiling resistance it has hit in it it has dropped to 50 to 60 percent retracement and this is going back up so we have to wait we have to wait for the entry i'm gonna call the entry on this for this week okay from this week to next week we're following this and i'm gonna be calling the entry for you guys so you guys should wait the way i'm looking at it i'm looking at what is going to happen with this red line and this is already tick p1 and this is already the final tp okay but i'm looking what is going to happen around this red line. yeah so welcome back man so like i said before you know uh i don't want you guys to see this type of videos that are making like you know <laughs> like uh, giving you analysis of the market okay if you see it like analysis of the market you know maybe you're just gonna watch it for only that day and that's all you understand but see it as if i'm showing you how to analyze the market even if it has to take you to come back over and over again to watch what is going on okay now look i've made a channel this will be going up right on this channel okay if you look at where my trend lines are even pointing you will know that this 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 thing is going up okay but i said it started from here bounce here but why why did it bounce back it bounced back because it hit the ceiling resistance man top it bounced back now what happened giving you a 60 percent retracement yes a 60 percent retracement now it's about to go up so what should you be doing now when it's about to when things like this is happening you see this long leg that happened before hitting the ceiling and breaking down this long this long leg that hit the ceiling and broke down okay let me do one line we are going to make this chart to look horrible so please try to this what i said come and watch this over and over again because <laughs> this chart is going to look horrible at the end of this video now we know this line is going up we've seen this one that drop giving us giving us 60 percent retracement okay great then it's going to travel right on this white one here this down one so what should you be doing if you have followed the arrow here while it was going up on these long legs following this arrow on these long legs following this on the long leg okay you see that is exactly what is going to happen here now you will see those arrow again which will follow on this long leg this one now is going to be your long leg this white one and from what is going on from what is going on from whatever is going on is going to break the top it's going to break this high and it's going to go you know this is where the daily breakout is going to happen it's going to break this high and it's going to go okay it's going to break it's going to break this high this how to analyze the market man it's going to break this high okay it's going to break this high and it's going to go let's say it's going to break this 
resistance is gonna go we can talk about 200 pips moves from this from this junction we talk about 200 pips move traveling on this white line which i drew here okay traveling on this white line which i drew here you know the first thing is try to know where the market is going exactly you know this is what i've always been talking about you know if you don't know where the market is going you you will never know where to position your own mindset what is going to be happening inside your mind how will you be able to follow the market you know you cannot follow what you don't know where it's is it going you know what i mean if you don't know where something is going you cannot follow it you understand most of the failure that i've gotten on forex is because i don't know where the market is going but when i got my success is because i discover one thing about where the market is going and i continue to do the same thing over and over again every day until i became a master of what i do you know so this is why i'm opening your eyes because i know majority of you are beginners okay a lot of people have seen with their chat looking uh, looking like drastic nasty colorful fashionable design with some big tool you don't need a big tool to trade forex all you need is where is the market going and do you have one arrow that is telling you to so the other day when i told you guys about um the you know setting up your chart and the forex trendy issue you know one thing about your chart is that it is the only thing that will determine if you're going to be successful in forex or not you know so now i'm going to set up a chart right now so you can see in the post that i made for you guys i want you to now see the chart the way i'm going to display it and I put about the support resistance tool, support resistance. There's a reason why it is there. I'm gonna add the support resistance. I told you in the post, I put 500 level support resistance. This is the point where the price always turn around. And the support resistance you're looking at a lot because you see the price turn around the price bounce on it and it's turning around and this going up you know good now if you are a day trader you can follow it to wherever it's going and if not you can take your entry here if you're a scalper you can get out from here okay but that is not what we're doing here today now look let us go get that arrow the arrow that i put that i call the income arrow go to custom the income arrow that i put and this arrow also has a lot you know i always set mine to be like 10 it's crossing 50 because it will give me the best uh signal and then all the other settings i leave them alone and i do things like uh, show ma lines no a lot is on yes make sure your alert is on because if not you cannot get signal a lot on current i pull the false false a lot message yes a lot sound yes a lot message is the one that will send the alert to your phone your phone and you can use your phone to enter the trade okay a lot email well, this one too, if I like, I turn it on. But now let's go and see exactly how it looks like. This is it. These are the arrows. Okay. As a trader, when you know that, the logic here is that the price has bounced on this support and now it's bouncing up. So you know it's going up. That is the thing at the mind, at your at the back of your mind right now. It is going up. It has bounced here on the support okay on the floor now it's going up okay now this is the reason why i help you to set the chart so that you can see it okay because when you have a chart that is showing you what exactly is going on in the market then you will have confidence to to be sure of monthly income from your trading look what are you supposed to be doing if not to follow the arrow the buy arrow 
the buy arrow only you follow the buy arrow okay if you are the one that always draw trend line when you draw trend line and you know that your trade ends until the day this trend line is broken now look at the chart hmm? tell me that there's something good you found on this chart while the price bounced on this zone the roof which is the resistance it started coming down where you follow this yellow arrow for down 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 if you draw a trend line following this arrow you will see that okay until the day my trend line broken that is when i come to buy see are you not buying you are buying okay now this trend line drawing is uh, a strategy for another day you know it's not i'm not teaching you how to trade forex but i'm teaching you how to set up your chart and the reason why you need to have a, a very clean chart now this is the support resistance line that i told you it is the two blue lines and these are the arrow okay if you look at the price they are so cheap i believe everybody can afford it i i probably made it cheap because of you guys because i know that yeah most of you cannot afford much expensive things this is why i'm showing you this so i don't think you should hesitate not to even get it in order to be profitable hmm? if you get something that solves your problem and is going to make you to be profitable why not why not why not invest in it why not get it yeah so we made a video the other day and now we started again with another video right here to continue what we just talked about a few days ago about this support resistance which we have the blue line like i told you guys and then we have our arrow if you don't forget yeah we do this is it the arrow we follow and we don't just follow things blindly you know what i mean we look at where the market has bounced away from the support it bounced up started going now yesterday while i was doing this video we took a buy following this arrow right here but the market went up and pulled back now a lot of you new beginner trader will be scared of pullback you know you're gonna be scared of pullback and that has been the problem in the forex which makes a lot of you losing because when you see a pullback you don't want to care if you're in the right direction i've seen a lot of people they will close that order man they feel is gone against them the reason is because you don't know where the market is going by yourself you know look a simple analysis the market has bounced away from support it shows you it's going up this is why we drew a trend line apart from the support resistance which is the boundary where we are trading okay now we know it's going up this is why we follow it up yesterday now because i got the information is going up if i'm gonna take my profit now as a scalper you know what i can take my profit somewhere right here if i say i want to take my profit I can take my profit profit number one right here okay i can do that if i'm gonna think of the long term maybe you know to hold it for at least a week yeah maybe a week or a week and a half yeah i can come here and take my profit number two right here why because i know this price is going around here around here is going to create the next resistance but i'm not worried about that what i'm worried about is i know where it's going i know where it's going and i'm going to get out here i'm going to get out here for longer time now if i'm going to talk about the pullback which is the level that the price will always create to give you another good entry so that zone is what me i'm gonna use to pull my stop loss levels pull back stop loss see you know why i can do this thing i'm showing you because i know what the market used to do well you know what the market used to do 
he will not be scared of pullback, but he will take advantage of the pullback. Now, if this is the level it has created as the last pullback, okay, if I'm going to take this trade today, then my stop loss is going to be exactly, um, exactly below the pullback itself. Boom. Oh, what type of risk reward ratio is this? If I have a stop loss here, my entry here, which I put this on yesterday, and which my, my take profit is here or here. When you calculate it, it looks like a risk reward ratio of two to one, which is very profitable. So what am I saying? If you know how to follow one strategy and you know one strategy, and there's a pattern which you need to see in the market and you follow it with a risk reward ratio of two to one, mm? and you follow that every day, man, your success is guaranteed. This is why we got the support resistance level. And this video is called how to follow support resistance using the income arrow. Okay. I will put all the link of what you need under this video, like the support resistance and the this income arrow. I will put the link under the video. You need to check it out because these are the things that will guide you. You know, there's no yeah so welcome back man so like i said before you know um i don't want you guys to see this type of videos that i'm making like you know <laughs> like uh, giving you analysis of the market okay if you see it like analysis of the market you know maybe you're just gonna watch it for only that day and that's all you understand but see it as if i'm showing you how to analyze the market even if it has to take you to come back over and over again to watch what is going on okay now look i've made a channel this will be going up right on this channel okay if you look at where my trend lines are even pointing you will know that this 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 thing is going up okay but i said it started from here bounce here but why why did it bounce back it bounced back because it hit the ceiling resistance man top it bounced back now what happened giving you a 60 percent retracement yes a 60 percent retracement now it's about to go up so what should you be doing now when it's about to when things like this is happening you see this long leg that happened before hitting the ceiling and breaking down this long this long leg that hit the ceiling and broke down okay let me do one line we are going to make this chart to look horrible so please try to this what i said come and watch this over and over again because <laughs> this chart is going to look horrible at the end of this video now we know this line is going up we've seen this one that dropped 
giving us giving us 60 percent retracement okay great then it's going to travel right on this white one here this down one so what should you be doing if you have followed the arrow here while it was going up on these long legs following this arrow on these long legs following this on the long leg okay you see that is exactly what is going to happen here now you will see those arrow again which will follow on this long leg this one now is going to be your long leg this white one and from what is going on from what is going on from whatever is going on is going to break the top it's going to break this high and it's going to go you know this is where the daily breakout is going to happen it's going to break this high and it's going to go okay it's going to break it's going to break this high this how to analyze the market man it's going to break this high okay it's going to break this high and it's going to go let's say it's going to break this resistance is going to go we can talk about 200 pips moves from this from this junction we talk about 200 pips move traveling on this white line which i drew here okay traveling on this white line which i drew here you know the first thing is try to know where the market is going exactly you know this is what i've always been talking about you know if you don't know where the market is going you you will never know where to position your own mindset what is going to be happening inside your mind how will you be able to follow the market you know you cannot follow what you don't know where it's is it going you know what i mean if you don't know where something is going you cannot follow it you understand most of the failure that i've gotten on forex is because i don't know where the market is going but when i got my success is because i discover one thing about where the market is going and i continue to do the same thing over and over again every day until i became a master of what i do you know so this is why i'm opening your eyes because i know majority of you are beginners okay a lot of people have seen with their chart looking uh, looking like drastic nasty colorful fashionable design with some big tool you don't need a big tool to trade forex all you need is where is the market going and do you have one arrow that is telling you to yeah welcome back welcome back guys uh based on this video you know based on this video as you know what i always do always teaching you something about forex always teaching you something that's gonna help you to open your eyes you know to see what exactly the market is doing even if you are on a naked chart like this you know so i wouldn't want you guys to see this video that i'm making now like i'm giving you market analysis you know i don't like those type of videos too you know i like to make videos that people will always like to come back and watch over and over again but you know while making those type of videos you know some might be like analysis mm -hmm. now this been on the aud usd au h1 time frame you know we've been watching this thing for like going to go up okay and i'm going to present this like i'm helping you to set up a chart on so you can understand how to look at a chart okay this is what we believe then it's gonna go up then you know what i mean forget about what it has done it has gone up from here got here and then broke down to give us what to give us a little pullback okay so after this major pullback what am i thinking with these double legs what am i thinking now the only thing in my head now is you know um i'm gonna i'm gonna wait a little bit i'm gonna wait a little bit to see what is going on around this red line that i've drawn that's what i'm doing right now but 
to confirm this properly let us go and put our support resistance line of um uh, 500 period the way we used to do it you know uh, yeah with all the alerts on man all right yeah you see because i wanted to ask you a question before like why do you think it bounced back here now look at the support resistance i used to say because it has hitting that resistance that is why it bounced back but if you put if you look at it the way it's going it's going up okay it's going it's blowing up blowing up there's no doubt about it but then what it has gone on a straight leg to give you the uh, support resistance it gave you the pullback of maybe 50 to 60 percent pullback what do you want to do wait for the buy entry okay now if i buy this now because my brain is a buy look at this line it is even already a take profit one this line is already a take profit one and this final line is already the final take profit this final up okay now this is not what we want to do let's zoom it a little bit okay now let us go and put our income arrow to make it spicy you know where is it hmm. income arrow you see the way i'm putting things fast fast sharp sharp that shows you I've been, I'm, I'm doing exactly what i'm saying and i want this income arrow to have a lot and have everything but because of time i'm gonna rush this video now look at your income arrow while this was going up i said okay you should be following 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 these lines following this arrow following this arrow because it's going up now it hit the resistance if you are a professional trader you will know that while hitting this resistance it's definitely going to go back then you will be following the yellow arrow okay yellow arrow okay but that is not what i'm saying right now i'm saying that these have gone from the low support to the high ceiling resistance it has hit in it it has dropped to 50 to 60 percent retracement and this is going back up so we have to wait we have to wait for the entry i'm gonna call the entry on this for this week okay from this week to next week we're following this and i'm gonna be calling the entry for you guys so you guys should wait the way i'm looking at it i'm looking at what is going to happen with this red line and this is already tick p1 and this is already the final tp okay but i'm looking what is going to happen around this red
Hey traders, welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I want to talk about the types of market structure. In essence, when it comes to trading, there are only three types of market structure. Now, because we've gotten a request from one of our subscribers about market structure, we thought we'd record a video to show you how uh, the three kinds of market structure works. Okay. In fact, we actually have this covered in our day trading guide, which is free. Okay. So if you have not gotten that, just uh, click the link in the description and just download a copy of that. But let's jump into today's video. So as I mentioned, there are three types of market structure. So over here, I've drawn them out. So of course, the first kind of uh, market structure is what we call an uptrend. Then we have the downtrend and then we have consolidation. So if you really think about it, uh, there are really only three kinds of uh, market conditions that uh, an instrument or currency pair can, can, you know, can be in. It could be uptrend, downtrend, or consolidation. Now, when we talk about market structure, we are not talking about a singular candle, okay? This is very important. When we talk about market structure, we are looking at the overall picture. So you do not just zoom in into you know, one candle like this and then try to tell the market structure. Uh, so market structure, it's, you have to look at the overall context of the price uh, action. So let, let me just explain what the uptrend is, what the downtrend is, uh, what the consolidation is, and then I'll go into the charts. I'll show you uh, it in the live uh, charts. So uptrend is very simple. Uptrend is where you have a series of higher highs and higher lows. So let's take a look at uh, this uh, picture that I drew over here. So you have a high over here. Okay, then you have a low over here. Then you have a high. But in this high is actually higher than this. So this is what we call a higher high. Then after that, you have a low here. But if you notice that this low here is actually higher than this. So in this case, we say that there is a series of higher highs because this high is higher than this and this low is higher than this. So there is a series of higher highs and a series of higher lows. So this is what we define as a uptrend. So hopefully that is uh, clear. Okay, it's really simple. But uh, sometimes you might struggle when it comes to identifying. So later I'll show uh, you in the charts as well as a trick which you, you can apply to help you identify this easily. Okay, now understanding the market structure is very important. It's the first step of any trading strategy. Okay, I don't care which strategy you are using. You should always be looking at the market structure. Now let's move on to the downtrend. So downtrend is really just the opposite. So let's look at uh, this case. In this case, we have a low here and then we have a high over here. And instead of having a higher high, we have a lower low. And then instead of having a higher, higher high, we have a lower high. So you can see that this is a low, but this is a lower low. So you have lower low, you have lower high. So a downtrend is very simple. It's the opposite. It's when you see a series of lower lows and a series of lower highs. Okay, so that's the downtrend. It's really just the opposite. So if you understand what the uptrend is, then you will understand what the downtrend is because it's just the opposite. Now, the last type of market structure is consolidation. Okay, consolidation in the case that price is bouncing between um, resistance and support. So you can see over here that I mapped out, you know, uh, the, the price, okay, just some lines to, to act as price. Just an example. So you can see that it's being resisted, it's being supported, it's being resisted. Now, an interesting thing about consolidation, which a lot of people don't talk about, is that let's say price is in a downtrend and there is a consolidation here. It is still more likely that price is going to break down. Okay, let me draw it. It's still more likely it's going to break down because you are in a downtrend and price is consolidating. Okay, so in consolidation, it could be... Um, what I call a uptrend consolidation or a downtrend consolidation. So that depends on the prior uh, move, movement of the currency pair or instrument. So in this case, you see that uh, let's say now we are in a downtrend because we have a series of lower lows and low highs and price start consolidating. You should still lean towards selling. Okay, While it's perfectly fine for you to buy at the bottom and sell at the top, okay, your higher probability trade is going to be selling at the top because you are trading with the trend because now you're in a downtrend. So of course, the opposite is true. Let's say price is going up and instead of uh, you know, going up, it starts consolidating. Maybe it does something like, uh, you know, in, it starts consolidating somewhere like this. Let me just draw it. And maybe it does something like this. Okay. So something like this, it starts consolidating between these two levels. Okay. Here. 
and here. Okay, so it starts consolidating. Again, this is a consolidation, but you are consolidation in an uptrend. So again, you could potentially sell here, you know, because you're selling a consolidation. You're selling, uh, you're, you're doing a range trading strategy where you sell the top and you buy the bottom. It's fine, but your higher, higher probability trade is going to be buying the bottom because the overall trend is up. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, doesn't matter what trading strategy you use, whether you're using the strategies that we are teaching, uh, you know, the MPE trading strategy, which is taught in our day trading guide or our other swing trading strategy, doesn't matter what you apply. It could even be a strategy that you design and build on your own. Regardless of whatever you are using, you always want to pay attention to market structure. And that is why you need to understand uh, this tree, how the market moves and, you know, which, which of this condition is the currency pair or instrument, you know, in right now then you can make the right decision. Of course, in uptrend, you want to be buying. In a downtrend, you want to be selling. And in consolidation, as I mentioned, if it's, if it's um, totally range bound, meaning that there's no direction, no pyro uh, trends, then you can buy the bottom, sell the top. But if it's in an uptrend, consolidation, you ideally want to buy the bottom. And of course, in a downtrend, if it's consolidating, consolidation, after a downtrend, you want to be selling the resistance as much as possible. So by the way, if enjoying this content so far, appreciate it if you just uh, take some time to like this video, right? It'll help us to grow, right? At the same time, hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell icon because we create a lot of videos like this to serve you. So really, really appreciate it if you just take some time to help us grow, okay? It also encourage us to create more videos like this to serve you. As always, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below, right? This video was created because one of our subscribers had a question about this. And you can see that we are really serious about creating videos to help you. So you can see that um, we do read your comments. So if you have any questions, any questions at all regarding this concept or any other trading concepts, it could be candlesticks, could be indicators, just leave a comment down below. We've been trading for many, many, many years and we have a lot of experience trying a lot of things. So we can share with you what we learned, you know, what we paid thousands of dollars for. Just let us know in the comment section below so now let's look at the charts okay let's look at uh, the charts so one thing to note about market structure is that different time frames will have different market structure okay so if you go into the h1 you're going to see different structures and if you go to the daily you're going to see different structures so now i know you might ask which time frame should you focus on in that case okay now if you really need the hard and fast answer i recommend that you start on the daily time frame okay do not go lower time frame especially if you are new to trading because the lower the time frame the harder it is to identify and that requires more skill so do not you know set yourself up for failure by doing the hard stuff especially when you're still new and you're still struggling to become profitable right you want to start with uh you want to start trading uh, the, the easy setup. You want to use the higher time frame so that's easier for you to identify the moves. Okay, in our three-day trading guide, we also mentioned that you want to start on the daily time frame. Okay, this is all because it's clearer. It's more straightforward. Okay, so let's look at uh, Euro dollar right now. So over here, we can see some patterns. Okay, if you look at it over here, this is actually a consolidation. Okay, earlier on, I said that... Uh, one of the market conditions that you can have on market structure is a consolidation. So this is the exact thing. Okay, you have price bouncing from here, go down, go up, go down, go up. Then finally it breaks. Okay, so I have a cool tip for you. If you can't identify the market condition, uh, looking at the candlestick patterns, what you want to do is you want to switch over to the line chart. Okay, so when you switch your line chart, it's very clear. You can see it very clear. You can see that, okay, this is a high, this is a low, this is a higher high, this is a higher low. So it's very clear, okay? You do not have to trade like that, but you can just change to the line chart whenever you are not sure uh, which of the three uh, market conditions we are in, okay? Are we in the uptrend, downtrend, or consolidation? So let me just clear everything first, and let's go back. So what you want to do, step one of any trading strategy is you always want to identify what is the market structure. So as I mentioned, you do not just look at one candle and try to decipher if the market condition is uptrend, downtrend, or consolidating. You want to look at the entire picture. So if you look at the broad picture, you can conclude that a euro dollar is actually a uptrend. Okay, no matter how you draw it, it's still uptrend because you have a high, you have a low, you have a higher high and you have a higher low. So as I mentioned, an uptrend is a series of higher highs and a series of lower lows. So you see that over here. So over here is still the same. If you were to uh, zoom in into the recent price action, it's still the same. You have a high, you have a high, and then you have a high. So you can see that the highs are getting 
higher, you have high, higher, high, higher, high. And more importantly, you also see lower lows. You see a low here, you see a low, higher low here, and uh, this one over here is actually uh, here. It's somewhere here. Okay, so this low is almost the same, but nonetheless, it's still a bit higher, I believe. It's a bit higher or it's the same. But you can see, generally speaking, we are looking at the whole uh, picture. We are looking at the whole charts, uh, not just a singular candle to make the decision. Okay, so when it comes to market structure, it's very important that uh, you look at uh, the entire picture. You try to look at the big picture. You do not look into the, mi uh, you know, the micro picture and try to understand the... Uh, market structure without uh, zooming out okay so you always want to zoom out and look at the overall picture now before i end of this video i just want to show you why you want to stick on the daily time frame okay now assuming that uh, you do the h4 you can see that the market structure looks different in this case okay you might see something like uh, this is a low uh, this is a high and this is a lower low and instead of uh, making a lower high it does a higher low so this is actually a inverted head and shoulder okay let me see if i can show you you have the left sh shoulder here you have the head here and then you have a potential right shoulder here so you can see it gets very complicated because in the higher time frame it's telling you it's uptrend but in this time frame there is no clear trend yet because you do not see a high low right if you need you want to see a trend in the h4 you need to see something like this you have a high you have a low you have a higher high and then you have a higher low okay but right now you don't see it so what happens when you change the lower time frame you will see a different market structure and that might confuse you okay i have other videos about how to econ incorporate multiple time frame analysis into your trading that's very important as well but if you are new right really let's keep things simple right i don't want to confuse you and really there is no need for you to complicate things because um the mpe trading strategy which is taught in our free day trading guide it's already a powerful strategy that can already make you money so there's really no need for you to complicate things if uh, you know you're struggling or you're totally new to trading right just stick to that guys totally free right the links in the description right please go download it if you have not downloaded it okay so just to summarize this video i talk about the three market conditions you have the uptrend you have the downtrend and you have the consolidation the uptrend is when you have a series of higher highs okay and a series of lower lows and then the downtrend is uh, just the opposite okay you have a series of lower lows okay lower lows such as this and then you have a series of uh, lower highs as well that's a downtrend and then of course you have the consolidation okay just a gentle reminder the first thing you want to do whenever you analyze the chart is to look at the market condition market structure okay market structure and market condition is the same thing you want to look at that to determine your bias okay if you're in a downtrend you want to be selling as much as possible if you are in an uptrend you want to be buying okay so as always if you have any questions just leave it down below we love to help you just let us know if not thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video Okay, welcome back guys. Uh, sorry, sorry for that break in transmission. Yeah, so what do you need to be seeing? What do you need to be looking at? Let's talk about channels for a minute. Here we've got an upward trend and as we discussed previously, we can draw a support line which represents a diagonal which is kind of guiding the price and the price keeps bouncing off it in its uh, journey uh, to the top. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this diagonal and we're going to copy it and we're going to put it above the price. So there it is, um, it's got the same angle as the first one and it's sitting on uh, one of the uh, highs of the price. 
So once again, as you can see here, the price is also bouncing off this diagonal as well um, and bouncing downwards. The price is kind of moving in a channel or corridor. Now, what are we anticipating from the price going forward? Well, right now we are probably expecting for the price to bounce off the top border and then to go back up. This is where we would enter into a buy order. So once the price has bounced off, we would um, wait for it to hit this uh, bottom border of the channel. We would enter into a buy order. And if the price goes in our direction, um, once it hits the top border again, that's when we would close our trade. So it's important to note here that in an upward channel, you it is recommended to um, trade only buy orders. And why is that? Well, let's uh, step uh, take a few steps back for a second. At this stage, we're anticipating for the price to go down. So we could technically conduct the sell order, but it's not advisable for two reasons. First of all, we'd be trading against the trend. And that's something we said we shouldn't do. We should always trade with the trend. And second, as you can see here, the downward movement is actually smaller than the upward movement. So in an upward channel, if you create uh, sell orders, you will always earn less than if you create buy orders. So that's uh, another reason why in an upward channel, you should only trade uh, buy orders. Next, we're going to look at a downward channel. So here we've got a downward trend. We can draw a resistance line. If we copy that line, we can see that very often the price will also follow the copied line. So it won't break through. It will bounce off that line. And channels are very common on the Forex market. And you'll see this from our uh, live trading on a real account uh, further down in this course. So here we're expecting the price to go up. Then we'll conduct a sell order and we'll close our order uh, once the price reaches the opposite side of the channel. So once again, in a downward channel, it is advised to open sell orders because you would be, in this case, you'll be trading with the trend and you will get longer movements. And um, so those are the two main ways of uh, trading channels. It's actually one way, but in two different types of channels. Uh, and it's always trading inside the channel. And uh, more often than not, um, the price does stay in the channel. But sooner or later, of course, the price will break the channel. And that's why there's an alternative strategy where in this case, uh, instead of opening a sell order, you would open a buy order and um, you would expect the price to go uh, somewhere out of the channel. You would use this strategy uh, when your other analysis is telling you that this channel is getting too old and the price is going to break through it. So when a channel is quite new, there's more chances that the price will stay inside. When the channel has been around for a while, um, the chances of the price breaking out are constantly growing. Both strategies are valid. Uh, depends on uh, the situation and what your other technical analysis tells you. So to sum up with channels, direction, uh, trade with the channel, uh, stay inside the channel. It's more likely that the price will bounce in, into the channel. Um, there's an alternative uh, strategy, which is a breakthrough strategy, and um, that is used when you expect the price to break free from the channel. All right, so that was channels. Did you enjoy this tutorial? Well, if you did, then you might want to check out the full course. And the good news is that I've prepared an exclusive discount for those who have seen this preview. Just check out the link in the description of this video and you can get the full course with a massive discount. I look forward to seeing you in the course and until then, happy trading. Okay, welcome back guys. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry for that break in transmission. Yeah, so what do you need to be seeing? What do you need to be looking at?
this video, I will log into the members area and show you exactly how it works. Put in your email, password. Here we go. The charts are loading. OK, we see the first three charts of the best trending currency pairs and time frames. The trend direction, pair and time frame, and the trend drawdown. The drawdown is very low. The trend looks very nice. This blue line is the maximum drawdown. This is how the best trend is determined. No indicators, but pure price action. You can read more about this method in the ebook you'll get right after you subscribe. In the next charts, the drawdown is a little higher. If you want to see more charts, click on settings. Let's choose 20 charts. Save settings for the next time you log in. Go back into trends, and as we scroll down, the drawdown becomes higher, but it might still be good for trend following. The first chart is always the best one. If you click on more in this corner, you'll see a quick overview of the same pair on the other time frames. In this case, most of the arrows are showing upward movement, which is a good confirmation. So let's go back into settings. And here you can select only particular currency pairs or deselect pairs you do not want to trade or that are not in your trading platform. You can also deselect time frames, for example, the lowest time frames. You can set up alerts when the trend drawdown falls below, let's say, 15%. Then click Save. And the audible alert will let you know when the lowest drawdown on any chart falls below 15%. Another approach used by more conservative traders is to check the charts just once or twice a day and simply make a trading decision. Very easy. Now let's look into patterns. And what you see are, believe it or not, the automatically recognized patterns. Here's the pair and the time frame and the pattern name. Flag, triangle, falling wedge, so on. Notice that there are often more than two touching pairs on the trend line. This is because the recognition algorithm is very good. When the price breaks through the trend line, it's likely to continue in the same direction. So you can enter the orders just above or below the trend line depending on the overall trend. These are emerging patterns and here's something special. The history of completed patterns updated in real time. They are actually confirmed patterns because the price has already broken through the trend line. The problem with emerging patterns is that they can change several times or the price will not break through the trend line. Unlike emerging patterns, completed patterns can be accepted as trading signals. For example, let's click on the link. And here we see the flag pattern. The price has broken through the trend line and it's likely to continue moving this way, often with some pullback. You can set up alerts in the settings. Check the box near Alert when new completed pattern appears and click Save. And when the new pattern is confirmed with a breakout, you will be notified by the audible alert. Another approach is to check the charts just once or twice a day. Look in the history of the higher time frames and you see that trend lines work incredibly well.
use this way of trading i want to ask you a question does it not make you feel like you are trading uh with peace of mind and the only thing you you you, you care about is waiting for result and you go out every day smiling smiling and doing what you like doing you come back you see your price your your, your profit has increased instead of instead of you chasing confusing this and that now <clears throat> I don't know if time is going to permit me to show you another second way of, you know, <laughs> doing this type of things. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will do this in the, in, in another video. You see, I'm, I'm out of time. So definitely I'm going to do this in another video, but you know, anyhow, it is check under this video. You will see the link to the support resistance and you will see the link to the Forex trending itself. You understand when you get something that shows you about your own progress, why not get it? why not get it you got you got you got all your all the roadmaps you you need on my channel you see that my channel you get all the roadmaps of everything you need to progress hey how do you draw your trend line your trend line and analyze the market. But well, first of all, look at this naked chart. You got a full idea that the market is going up, right? Okay, so what I wanna share with you here is that if you hear what the guy said over there, you know, he said, when you get the idea of the naked chart, when you can look at the naked chart, that, that naked chart, is the one that give you the full idea of where the market is going i'm going somewhere with this topic a lot of people we just get one indicator two indicators and we paint our own chart pink red yellow white that we cannot even see the price anymore okay this is what i talk in the video that the naked chart the naked chart i continue to hammer on it let's get going i'm gonna put a trend line <clears throat> okay i'm gonna put a trend line okay well this is gonna be a very simple way of drawing a trend line all right <laughs> i got a point there there is a difference between somebody is talking and showing you something and you capture some knowledge or a little bit of sense in what that person is saying he said he is going to make it simple to put a simple trend line on that chart. Okay. So what am I trying to say here? Simplicity is the best. How can you make something simple that it can be easily seen by your naked eyes and your brain can translate what exactly that means? That is simplicity. It's not until you make a chart so so gorgeous that you cannot see the price anymore and you put all sort of things like you are putting spaghetti spice before you think you have arrived in forex look at this chart on this screen you can see it and tell me where it's going let's get going simplicity is number two key to forex success isn't it all right what does this imply implies that if we're gonna take this buy then wait for the price to come and bounce somewhere hmm. this guy said something this is a nugget he said we will wait hmm. you know a lot of forex traders cannot wait like we have been too much forex savvy you want to wake up every day and put trade in every minute you want to put trade in you cannot let your eyes go away from your chart you will just want to put trade in you are not patient enough to wait he said we will wait he said number two is simplicity. He said number three is we will wait. He said number one is naked chart. Number two is simplicity. Number three, we will wait. And we will wait symbolize patience. Do you have it? Trend line. Before we take a buy. <laughs> this is trend line analysis. Okay. Now, that is the first step. That is the easiest way of drawing a trend line. The second step is, let us go and take a look at 
they support resistance, which I always talk about. If you didn't get it, the link is going to be under this video. The link is going to be under the video. It's very important. We say, okay, let's try that support resistance 500, first of all. We put it on the chart. Okay, this is what we got <laughs> from the base of the trend line, you see? You see, he said support resistance 500, giving you a chance to see the big, big data of the market. After you've been on the naked chart, then he said the 500 to show you the big data of the market connecting to weekly. Okay, now we have no more time anymore. Only five minutes we got on this video. We will bring part two of this video next time. Please stay tuned and keep waiting. That is your 500. Now, what do we want to do? Let's draw another trend line. Line. This is it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start from where we stop, you know, in the previous lesson. But before we do anything, let me remind you that under this video, there's always different kind of links and there is a broker link. If you know your broker has been doing some crazy things on your on your own account, you know, I think it's high time you need to consider if you're going to go get a good broker, man, check under this link because that's what me I recommend. See? Look at, look at, look at the broker for you. you gotta do that's a good broker for you you can go under the link of this description in the video and check it out that's their page good service so far so good now let's continue what do we want to do let's draw another trend line line let's draw another trend line on this support and then another line on the resistance itself okay you see what this guy has helped you to do in that place is to capture the high and low if you look the high and low you will see that it is even the high and low of your chart you know the high and low of your chart is what is captured with the 500 support resistance don't forget that the 500 support resistance link is under this video too you want to check it out good you don't get it the tool i told you to get the strategy you can build it it can work for you you know let's keep watching now we got the high and the low of the chart the high and the low because this is going up okay and now what we're going to do now is that we're going to go again to say okay 
I want to go and remove that um, support resistance line. I want to delete it. Okay, I deleted, but it's not yet deleted. But I want to insert another trend, another support resistance of, let's say, <clears throat> in this case, 100. We have it. Okay. The 100 is showing us something from this high to this low. Okay. But let's go again and make it like, um, let's go edit it and make it like 200. Yeah. Now you got it. That is what I want him to say. That's why I keep shot behind the screen. The 200. The 200 is support resistance. Okay let's say if we look at the range of which the price can go within the support resistance 500 the average is going to be the 200 which is the average range of you can trade one week okay so let's keep watching what it's going to say about how to follow that support resistance 200 it's a move of one week support resistance let's say it is 200 okay this is 200 we have 500 we have our trend line okay we before have... we go out of time and i believe that we're gonna we're gonna zoom we're gonna zoom we're gonna zoom and let you listen to to this tool okay we're out of time so this is the forex trendy that is going to show you the trend password. you know here we go you check the link under this video you're going to see the link okay you check this it out the first three charts of the best trending currency pairs because before you